Imagine unlocking your Galaxy phone one morning and suddenly finding features you didn't even know were coming. Fresh designs, smarter AI, and tools that feel like they jumped a year ahead of schedule. Well, that's exactly what's happening right now with Samsung's latest software updates and things are moving way faster than anyone expected. Welcome back viewers, James here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates just like this. Now, let's dive in. Samsung has officially opened the gates for One UI 8 beta on the Galaxy A36, and that move changes everything. A dedicated forum just went live, and it's not just a random discussion board. It's the central hub where Samsung will be dropping announcements, changelogs, updates, bug reports, and even engaging directly with testers. That's basically a backstage pass into how One UI 8 is being shaped in real time, and if you've got an A36, you're sitting front row. But here's where things get interesting while the A36 is leading the way, Samsung is already preparing beta builds for the Galaxy A35, A55, and A54. And remember, the flagship crowd, the Galaxy S25, S24, Fold 6, and Flip 6 are already playing with One UI 8. That means we're not looking at a slow rollout, but a coordinated push across multiple devices at once. It's almost like Samsung wants the whole Galaxy family speaking the same software language before September ends. Now, the juicy part, Samsung hasn't dropped an official rollout date yet, but internal testing has already been spotted online. Build a 4 z h 8 popped up on Samsung servers, and while it's not final, it's proof that things are moving at full speed. And Samsung has reassured everyone that the stable rollout is locked for September with no delays, starting with the Galaxy S25 lineup. If they pull this off, we could see up to 10 devices getting one UI8 in the very first wave. So, what's actually new here? Samsung's newsroom quietly slipped out hints from its top software XX, and it's clear this isn't just cosmetic polish. We're talking smarter AI baked into the experience, productivity upgrades designed for foldables, and a cleaner design language that ties the ecosystem together. Think less about what's on your screen and more about how your phone works for you. And just when you think that's the headline, Boom! Leaks of one UI 8.5 crash the party. A six minute hands-on video is floating around and it shows big changes that make this update feel way more than a patch. For starters, Samsung's stock apps are getting overhauled with modern layouts, pill shape docks, compact navigation bars, and a fresh dialer design that looks nothing like the old one. Even the call button has a subtle 3D drop shadow and there's a new direct voicemail feature that basically transcribes messages in real time as people leave them. Sound familiar? Yeah, that's Apple's iOS 18 trick, but Samsung just made their own version, and it doesn't stop there. Galaxy Themes now splits content into gallery and my stuff with tabs for wallpapers, fonts, and more, making personalization feel more intuitive. The studio video editor adds a stories tab for instant creativity. Device care once filled with goofy emoji indicators is now sharper and professional showing wide progress bars with actual percentage values. It's like Samsung grew up overnight and decided to make everything sleeker and smarter. But here's the real kicker. The firmware references One UI 9.0. That means One UI 8.5 isn't just a mid-cycle update, it's a stepping stone to something even bigger, likely launching with the Galaxy S26 in early 2026. So while everyone is still waiting for One UI 8 to finish rolling out, Samsung is already preparing the next leap. Think about it, in less than a year, Galaxy users will move from one UI 8 to 8.5 and then 9.0, three major experiences in rapid fire. That's not just software evolution, that's Samsung firing on all cylinders to make sure Galaxy stays a step ahead of everyone else. So, are you excited to try one UI 8 beta on your device? Or are you more hyped about the 8.5 leaks that point toward one UI 9.0? Drop your thoughts below. I'll be watching those comments.